गुड आफ्टरनून डियर स्टूडेंट्स नमस्कार यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन एंड आई एम कुसुम प्रसाद सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स दिस इज लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सेशन फॉर क्लास टेन एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज साइंस एंड आवर टूडे इज टॉपिक इज कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन पार्ट थ्री एंड टू टीच दिस सब्जेक्ट आवर एक्सपर्ट इज श्री सुशील कुमार फ्रॉम अलीगंज लखनऊ सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार सर सर है पीजीटी बायोलॉजी केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज से लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश से तो सर बताएंगे हमें इस टॉपिक के बारे में कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन पार्ट थ्री पढ़ने वाले हैं यानी नियंत्रण और समन्वय भाग तीन तो इससे पहले कि आज का सत्र हम शुरू करें हम बता देते हैं हमारे विभिन्न माध्यम कौन कौन से हैं किस तरह से आप अपने फीडबैक दे सकते हैं किस तरह से सत्र से जुड़ सकते हैं सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट अस थ्रू अवर कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर्स अवर फोन नंबर इज एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन यू कैन नोट डाउन दिस इज फ्लैशिंग ऑन योर टी वी स्क्रीन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो ई मेल अस अवर ई मेल आई डी इज डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट द रेट सी आई ई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हम बता देते हैं एक बार से दोबारा आज हम साइंस सब्जेक्ट लेके आए हैं कक्षा दस के विद्यार्थियों के लिए और टॉपिक है कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन पार्ट थ्री नियंत्रण और समन्वय भाग तीन इस विषय पर पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं श्री सुशील कुमार जी जो कि पीजीटी बायोलॉजी हैं केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश से सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार सर सुशील सर यस yes, सर बहुत बहुत स्वागत नमस्कार yes, सर हम स्टार्ट करते हैं हमारा आज का सत्र मैंने स्टूडेंट्स हम पढ़ने वाले हैं कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन पार्ट थ्री यानी नियंत्रण और समन्वय भाग तीन सर शुरुआत करते हैं आज का सत्र Yes, ma'am. So, uh, dear students, as uh, you are aware that today we are going for the part three. So, in the part one and part two, we have discussed a lot about the various ways of the control and coordination in animals. So, uh, as well as uh, we have also discussed some of the movement that is taking place in the plants. So, in the previous session, uh, you all are aware about what is the reflex action how our nervous nervous system works what is neuron and uh, what is synapse as well as we have discussed about the one of the controlling center of our body that is known as brain in the last session we have discussed the, how there is the coordination in plant takes place through the various uh, various movement or we can say that uh, there are the two types of the movement one type of the movement is known as movement that is occurred due to the growth as well as another type of the movement that is occurred due to the uh, uh, change in the target pressure so as the movement that is uh, concerned with the uh, that is due to the growth that is tropic movement so in this movement Uh, so we have discussed uh, there is the one of the best example that is the tendril so the movement that is shown by the tendril we have discussed that is the how the tendril to circle around the object and uh, it all occurs due to the uh, how there is the difference of the growth that is the part of the tendril tendril that is uh, just uh, touching the object as well as the, the part of the tendril that is away from the object so there is the difference of the growth that causes the circling of the tendril around the object so we have discussed and we have called that uh, this type of the movement is tropic movement and we specific thigmotropic movement so as the movement in plants is concerned so uh, there is one of the type of the growth movement and in this uh, we have also discussed about the thigmotropism that is the movement due to the touch or contact uh, there is another type of the movement that it takes place in response to the water this is known as hydrotropism uh, my students uh, you have seen that some plants tends towards bending or they move towards the source of the light 
So uh, this is known as phototropic movement. That is, the movement takes place in response to the light. There is another type of the movement, that is, uh, geotropic movement. So the movement takes place in this case due to the response to the gravity. And uh, if there is a, some chemical secretion, it takes place, and any object of uh, any part of the plant moves toward that uh, chemical substance that is known as chemotropic movement. And uh, in the last, uh, we have discussed about the Gnostic movement. So I am going to show uh, some of the movement that we have already discussed. And uh, these all movement takes place uh, in response to the some of the uh, 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 stimuli uh, that is given either from the chemical, either from the water, either from the light, or either from the touch. So, uh, in the last, we have discussed that is the Gnostic movements and it is the non-directional response to the stimulus. That is the, uh, any, uh, the movement that it takes place in response to the uh, change in the turgor pressure. So, uh, turgor pressure is the sort of the pressure uh, that is generated due to the osmotic uh, balance in the cell, surrounding cells. So if the, there is the decrease in the turgor pressure, that causes the shrinkage of the cell. As well as if there is increase in turgor pressure, it uh, will result in the swelling of the cell. So uh, we have discussed one of the famous examples that is known as touch me not plant. So you have seen that. So you have seen that. You have seen that. खेल खेल में उसकी पत्तियों को छुआ भी होगा और जैसे ही आपने उन पत्तियों को छुआ होगा वो पत्तियां मुरझा गई होंगी और dropping of the leaves occurs due to the change in the turgor pressure so such type of the movement that occurs the that movement are the non directional and response to the stimuli so these uh, type of the movement are known as turgor pressure so uh, this type of the movement occurs due to the change in turgor pressure or we can say it is caused by the elastic change in the size of the uh, special motor cell within the plant tissue. So these changes are generally produced by the changes in the osmotic pressure that result into the uh, influx or efflux of the ion that causes the, uh, that is we, we, we already have said that it is known as turgor pressure. So uh, this is one of the classical example that we have already discussed in now. We are going to discuss about the how the coordination in plants and animals takes place by the hormones. So now the question is arising: Why there is need to uh, the uh, use of the hormones by the plant in coordination? So uh, first of all, I would like to tell you that uh, hormones are the chemical substances that are secreted by the plants as well as animals. So in plants. The hormones that are secreted are known as phytohormones. So as we have seen that in case of animal as well as plants, so various type of the movement is taking place. So, uh, but we have seen that all those sort of the movement or coordination occurs due to the some of the electrical impulse. So electrical impulse are said to be the excellent means for the uh, any uh, response. But there are limitations to the use of electrical impulse. Uh, firstly, they will reach only in the uh, those cells that are connected by the nervous system in case of the human being. And not each and every cells in the animal body is directly contact. So since uh, once an electrical impulse is generated in a cell and transmitted, the uh, cell wall takes some time to reset its mechanism. So if instead of generating an electrical impulse, stimulated cell release a chemical compound, this chemical would diffuse all around the original cell and this type of the chemical result in the coordination of the plants and we can say these are known as plant hormones or in case of animal, it is, these are known as animal hormones. So uh, like uh, we have, uh, I have shown you in my slide that uh, plant hormones are the chemical substance that is uh, these substances are produced naturally in the plants and are capable of translocation and regulating one or more physiological process. 
when present in low concentration. So plant hormones help to coordinate growth, development, and response to the environment. Plant hormones are known as phytohormones as well as they are also known as plant growth regulator because these uh, chemical substances help in the regulation of the growth in the plant. Uh, I would like to give you some example of the plant hormone. One of the example is oxygen. So this hormones promote the root growth as well as another example is cytokinin. It promotes the shoot growth and cell division. Uh, there is another hormone that is gibberellin. It helps in the flowering of the plants and uh, there is one hormone that is known as the abscisic acid. Usually uh, it is concerned with the retardation of the growth and one of the hormone that is found in the volatile gaseous form. So it is helping in the fruit ripening. So uh, uh, as the site of the synthesis is concerned, so oxygen uh, hormone is synthesized by the melismatic tissue at the tip of the stem and root and help in the uh, growth of the root. As well as uh, there is another hormone I have already discussed that is gibberellin. So gibberellins are synthesized in the young leaf roots and shoots and uh, usually uh, these hormones transported to the other part of the plant and help in the flowering of the plant. So uh, there is another form of the hormone that is we have discussed that is the cytokinin. So it is synthesized in root and transported to the shoot through the uh, xylem and uh, it helps in the cell division of the cell uh, as well as uh, one of the hormones that we have seen uh, that is released from the ripened fruit and uh, uh, it is formed in the almost all plant parts, root, leaves, flower, fruit, seed, etc. And my dear children, have you ever seen that आपने जब आपके घर में रखे हुए फल पक जाते हैं तो उनसे एक वॉलेटाइल बड़ी अच्छी सुगंध निकलती है डेट इज ऑफ दी इथाइलिन हार्मोन सो दीज आर आर द प्लांट हार्मोन एंड प्लांट हार्मोन हेल्प द ग्रोथ ऑफ दी प्लांट सो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू डिटेल अबाउट द हाउ द कोऑर्डिनेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन द एनिमल और ह्यूमन बीइंग सो स्पेशली इन द ह्यूमन बीइंग the coordination takes place by two ways. One of the ways we have already discussed, that is the coordination for the uh, nervous system. And uh, now I would like to tell you about the, how the coordination takes place in the animals with the help of the, uh, there is a uh, set of the organized system that is known as endocrine system. So endocrine system is a system that consists of the various endocrine glands that are found in our body. So these are the unique gland and these glands are unique in the sense because they did not have duct. That is why the endocrine glands are known as ductless gland and these glands secrete a chemical substance that is known as hormones. So uh, the, the, as the hormone is concerned, so uh, the hormones are released or secreted by the endocrine gland and uh, usually hormones is secreted in very little amount in the body as the requirement of the body. So, Sushil uh, sir, yes. Sushil sir, sir, what are the difference yes. between exocrine glands and endocrine glands? Uh, yes ma'am, uh, it is a uh, very good question. So, uh, uh, I would like to tell you there are two types of the glands are found in our body. So uh, usually when the term glands came, so you, we people think about the salivary gland, sweat gland that are known as exocrine gland because the exocrine glands that are found in our body in the various parts. So these glands have the duct, that is why exocrine glands are known as ducted glands. So various glands help in the digestion of uh, human being. So these all glands are comes in the category of the exocrine gland. Salivary gland secretes saliva. So there, this gland also have a duct. That is why these glands, salivary, sweat gland, cerumen gland, these all glands comes under the category of the exocrine gland. On the other hand, there are some glands which did not have the duct. 
that is uh, these glands secrete their secretion directly into the blood and the secretion of the endocrine glands are known as hormones this is the difference between endocrine as well as exocrine glands okay ma'am ji so, sir uh, okay sir yes ma'am बिल्कुल so, ये जो दो डिफरेंस है इस वजह से दोनों हम डिफरेंशिएट कर सकते हैं हमारे जो स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स हमें देख रहे हैं सर जी यस मैम सो एज द मेल एंड फीमेल ह्यूमन बीइंग आर कंसर्न सो देयर आर सो मेनी इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स आर फाउंड इन द बॉडी एंड दे सिक्रीट द सिक्रीशन दैट इज नोन एज हार्मोन्स माय स्टूडेंट्स मेनी टाइम अ क्वेश्चन बीइंग आस्क हार्मोन्स इज नोन एज केमिकल मैसेंजर i hormones is known as chemical messenger because hormones usually secreted from the endocrine gland and usually it flows through the blood and act on the organ and help in the integration and coordination of the body and control the various functions in the body that is why it is known as chemical messenger so uh, let us move to the uh, next slide in and uh, my students you will be able to see Uh, the, uh, these are the various location of the human being uh, uh, that have the various endocrine glands or ductless glands and uh, uh, you should know that which region of the body have a rich type of the endocrine glands so i would like to uh, tell you detail about some of the endocrine glands so as our the head region is concerned so in the head region uh, there is the one of the most important gland that is known as pineal gland so pineal gland is the smallest gland that is found in human being uh, the shape of the pineal gland is just like the pea seed matter ke dane ke barabar hoti hai ye but the uh, the, uh, the 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 is uh, sorry the pituitary gland is known as master gland and its the shape of the pituitary gland is of the pea seed and it is the smallest gland pituitary gland hamari body ki sabse choti gland hoti hai aur iska size bahut chota hota hai lekin is gland se jo hormones nikalte hain wo kai sari aur endocrine gland ke hormones ko control karte hain that is why pituitary gland is said to be the master gland of human being पिटूटरी ग्लैंड के निकले हुए हार्मोन शरीर की दूसरी ग्लैंड पर जाके काम करते हैं उनके हार्मोन्स के साथ मिलके रेगुलेट करते हैं कोऑर्डिनेट करते हैं दैट इज व्हाई द ग्लैंड द हार्मोन सिक्रीटेड बाय द पिटूटरी ग्लैंड्स आर नोन एज प्रॉफिट हार्मोन द अनदर नेम ऑफ द पिटूटरी ग्लैंड इज पीपी फाइस द अनदर नेम ऑफ द पिटूटरी ग्लैंड इज द हाइपोफाइसिस सेरेब्राई सेकंड ग्लैंड दैट इज फाउंड इन द हेड रीजन दैट इज नोन एज pineal gland so it is also a small gland but not as small as the pituitary gland and this gland secrete one of the hormone that is known as melatonin hormones and uh, uh, the base of the pituitary at the base of the pituitary gland there is a hypothalamus and the hypothalamus control the pituitary gland also that is why the hypothalamus is said to be the supreme commander of the इंडोक्राइन ऑर्केस्ट्रा और इंडोक्राइन सिस्टम सो पूरी इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स जितनी हमारी आपकी बॉडी में पाई जाती हैं उनको कंट्रोल करने का काम हाइपोथैलेमस करता है और पिटूटरी ग्लैंड बाकी सारी इंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड को कंट्रोल करती है इसलिए पिटूटरी ग्लैंड को हम मास्टर ग्लैंड कहते हैं अब अगर नेक रीजन में देखें तब हमको पता चलेगा कि एक शील्ड के आकार की या एच के आकार की या बटरफ्लाई के आकार की ग्लैंड होती जिसे हम थाइरॉइड ग्लैंड कहते हैं थायराइड ग्लैंड के ऊपर ही एक और ग्लैंड होती है जिसे हम पैरा थायराइड ग्लैंड कहते हैं इसके बाद मीडिया स्टाइनल रीजन में हम देखेंगे देयर इज ए ग्लैंड नोन एज थाइमस ग्लैंड और इसके बाद हम देखेंगे देयर इज ए पेंक्रिया दैट इज फाउंड एट द कर्व ऑफ ड्यूडिनम और वहां पर पेंक्रिया एक ऐसी ग्लैंड है जिसमें इंडोक्राइन पार्ट भी होता है और इंडोक्राइन पार्ट भी होता है दैट इज वाई पेंक्रिया इज सेट टू बी द हिट्रोक्राइन ग्लैंड और मिक्स ग्लैंड students so these uh, there is one of the most important gland that is found above the testis that is known as adrenal gland or suprarenal gland so these all glands are common in the male as well as female but there is one gland that is different that is the uh, gland uh, uh, the endocrine part of the testis and endocrine part of the ovary 
so we can say in the gonads in the male there is the some part of the testes that is endocrine in function as well as in the female gonad in the ovary that secrete the female sex hormone so testes secrete the male sex hormone and ovary secrete the female sex hormone so as uh, uh, this table is uh, uh, i am uh, going to illustrate this table so as the uh, endocrine gland is concerned so these glands secrete the hormones that play very important role like you will be able to see uh, there is a growth hormone so it this hormone is secreted by the pituitary gland or uh, if there is the less secretion occurs in the human being the it result in the uh, stunted growth or uh, we can say aise bachche phir janm le sakte hain jinki poor growth hogi aur hum unko keh sakte hain pituitary dwarf or mid gate uh, there is another gland that is known as thyroid gland so is uh, gland se secrete hone wale hormone to usually hum log thyroxine kehte hain lekin iske sath sath t3 aur t4 aur tsh ye teen hormone hain jo thyroid gland se kahin na kahin se jude hue hain aur these hormones regulate the metabolism for the body growth and regulate the blood sugar level uh, 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 ye uh, next gland that is known as insulin uh, uh, the hormone is secreted by the endocrine part of the pancreas so in the pancreas there are certain region which are endocrine in function and uh, uh, that contains uh, some of the endocrine activity that have the beta cells or alpha cells as well as uh, there is another cell that is known as delta cells so the beta cells of the pancreas secrete a hormone that is known as insulin which regulate the blood sugar level in the body so bachcho aapne suna bhi hoga ki jab insulin hormone ki kami ho jati hai tab diabetes ek bimari aapne suni hogi jo insulin hormone ke kam secretion ke karan hoti hai aise hi uh, jo male and female mein गोनाट्स uh, होते हैं मेल गोनाट्स को टेस्टिस कहते हैं फीमेल फीमेल गोनाट्स को कहते हैं ओवरी सो टेस्टिस सिक्रीट द टेस्टोस्टेरोन दैट हेल्प इन द सिक्रीशन ऑफ द एंड्रोजन दैट इज द मेल सेक्स हार्मोन एज वेल एज दैट हेल्प इन द स्पर्मेटोजेनेसिस दैट इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्पर्म एज वेल एज एग्रेसिव नेचर ऑफ द ह्यूमन बीइंग रिजल्ट ड्यू टू द टेस्टोस्टेरोन Uh, there is the ovary so endocrine part of the ovary secretes a uh, hormone that is known as estrogen and progesterone that uh, help in the development of female sex organ uh, there is uh, uh, as well as help in the regulate the menstrual cycle one of the gland in our body that is known as adrenal gland that is found above the kidney uh, or adjacent to kidney that is why it is known as adrenal ad means pass me renal means kidney so this uh, gland secrete the adrenal hormone and this hormone uh, related with the uh, how to we people cope up with the emergent situation and that is why the adrenaline is known as emergency hormone and uh, this hormones help to how to uh, be uh, cope up with the emergent situation uh, if suddenly any problem or any danger came so how if we have to fight or we have to fight or how we try to kaise hum dare iske liye ye responsible hai as well as there are the some releasing hormones that is secreted by the uh, hypothalamus and these hormones stimulate the pituitary gland to release the various hormones so uh, my students uh, you will be thank you sir sushil sir थैंक यू सर आपने जो ये चार्ट दिखाया हारमोन्स इन एनिमल जिसमें आ, सारे ग्लैंड्स और उससे रिलेटेड उनके फंक्शंस क्या हैं उससे और उसकी डिफिशिएंसी से क्या कुछ डिजीजेस हो जाते हैं ये हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को आपने बताया थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग एंड डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस चैप्टर कंट्रोल एंड कॉर्डिनेशन पार्ट थ्री टू अवर स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स आप इसको हम देख रहे थे चैप्टर को हमें उम्मीद है कि आपने बहुत अच्छे से जानकारी हासिल कर ली होगी इस चैप्टर के बारे में और इसके बारे में डिटेल्स हम आगे वाले सत्र में लेके आएंगे इसके बारे में जानकारी तो आज के लिए बस इतना ही स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स लेकिन आप कहीं मत जाइए जुड़े रहिए ई विद्या चैनल से क्योंकि हम कुछ ही पलों में हाजिर होंगे सोशल साइंस के सत्र को लेकर हमें दीजिए इजाज़त नमस्कार